In this episode, it all finally comes together. We follow the commissioning of the boat as we eagerly await getting on board Helios for the very first time. While we wait, we spend our time preparing for living on board and enjoy the lovely seaside town of Canet. Welcome aboard. I'm Jude and this is Richard. We are an Aussie and a Kiwi who have chosen a different path in our lives, leaving our work, adult family and friends behind to explore the world under sail. We hope to share with you our adventures, the people we meet and the places we visit, and invite you into our world of living aboard a sailboat. If you enjoy our episode, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, We're back here again in Canet uh, to see Sailing Atlantic Services. Um, just driven from Marseille, another four hours sort of driving, uh, where we've had a successful time with customs, even though we're a little bit wow. lighter in the pocket. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, it's successful for them. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, well, they may have got their quota today. Yeah. We're now into a cycle here. So it's a two week cycle um, to commission a boat. Uh, for SAS, they've got a lot of boats that they're commissioning and uh, they're still not going to do the instruments for us but they are going to do the stuff on the mast which is um, really the most important piece for us and the more, most difficult bit. It's so, the one thing I was really worried about. Yeah. It's 18 metres high. Yeah. I really didn't want Richard climbing out and doing it himself. Yeah, and it's a pain because you've got to drill and tap uh, for screws and pull cables up and yeah, it's a real real hard work. So they've said they'll do the mast work which is great and the basic commissioning and then the rest of the instruments which they'll do. Yep, so okay. come the 3rd of May we should have our boat. Radar. Because yes. you got so you got radar, radar mount, wind instruments, cable to go up, VHF aerial, and you'll need to run a uh, VHF uh, coax. We're waiting. <laughs> we just checked out of an Airbnb over there and we're about to check into one over there. Well, just there. But we have to check out there at midday, here at 2 pm. So we're just waiting. It's a nice day. I've got my knitting to do. I've done my French lesson on Duolingo. Hmm. And we've got lunch packed. Yes, it's probably about lunchtime. Now we know the date that we've got. Uh, we've booked a place here until the 5th of May, which is a couple of days after we're meant to get the boat. Which means that we should be able to pull up just next to us here and, and load our stuff into Bob, our tender, and take it round to Helios, which should be somewhere over here by that bad time. That's the plan anyway. Mm, our plans haven't kind of worked out to date though, have they? No. We'll work it out. But everything's here now and um, I think they were building the mast yesterday, that's what they told me. Um, so we uh, met up with Ben yesterday who's building the mast and gave him all the equipment. Um, on Monday they're going to be doing the anti-fouling Tuesday they said they were going to put the boat in the water, but I reckon it's going to be Wednesday because it'll take a couple of days for that anti fouling to dry. And then they'll put the mast on on Wednesday as well. And at that point we'll be about one week away from handover. I think they, they need to get the canvas work on. They just finish up the last fittings on the boat and give it a good yep, clean, I think. And then we'll be ready to go. Yeah. And then we'll see our boat properly. Touch it. Yes. To get close to it. We haven't been yeah. within, I don't know, 15 or 20 metres of it yet. Yeah. Through a fence. Yes. A bit frustrating sitting outside the fence yeah. looking at it. Yeah. Anyway. 
just come down to uh, have a look at Helios um, and just check to see whether on Monday they'll be doing the anti-fouling. Uh, we just wanted to check whether the transducer is because we can't quite see from here. But we have found a gap in the fence down here. Yeah. I think Jude can fit in and break in. She might get arrested. But it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. As we wait for Helios to be ready, we also watch Cane prepare for the summer influx of visitors. As the weather warms, several temporary bars and restaurants are built on the beach. Right, we just came to check out the boat and sure enough it's got some anti-fouling on it, so progress is happening, so we're happy. So we just come for a walk to check on Helios and we come to have a look at this normal spot and there's a different boat there. So we just come down to the wharf and there she is. So they're already in the water so we'll just go have a look to see if we can find the mast and uh, see how far away that is. Do you know I can imagine just in a few weeks time we might anchor off the beach like this and bring the dinghy in and go to a market like that. Hmm. It's pretty cool. It's beautiful. Such a lovely still morning. Mm. Then a little one. Yes, a uh, chorizo. Uh, this one. Um, so when we were planning these days, just before moving on the boat, we knew we would need to get um, a whole lot of stuff over here. And we were sort of expecting that we would need to rent a car and go into Papignon and around Canet and sort of shop. Um, but actually we are really just using Amazon, which has been great. Um, and we've had a a little bit of difficulty getting the parcels sometimes because um, getting them to your apartment where you're staying is a bit difficult. And the post office closes for two hours in the middle of the day. Yes, yeah, so Jude's had her been going to the post office which has been a bit, <laughs> a bit of a problem. I have been getting mine going to the local um, second, second hand shop. 
So Absolutely uh, across the road. One minute. Yes, which has worked out really, really well. Turn this off and let me have a little look here before you go. Yep. Over. Over. What are you going to say? <laughs> We're on board. Finally. Yes. So excited after, how long have we been in France? Five weeks? Five weeks, yes. And we thought we'd be here on the boat in one week. Yeah. And we're May and I think we signed up in... End of Feb. Oh, yeah, I think it was. I think we made a decision about what we're doing into January and then end of Feb for the boat. So it's been, what's that, 15 months? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, but it's so beautiful. <laughs> It's so beautiful. beautiful. It's great to be on board and it's a, it's a lovely day outside. Yes. So anyway, now the work begins. Yeah, so we've got our crates here. We're just about to unpack them and put everything away that we can. Mm. And um, yes, and we've got another special crate coming, a new crew member. So we'll, we'll save that to a bit later. <laughs> and let you see that one. All right. Thank you. 